Good guys, Automotive Performance reporting to you live from the bunker in unknown Illinois, American territory. I think there's still freedom here, not much. Anyway, the brake lights are on, so. Give you a little tour, 70 Chevelle uh, project with four nine inch posi rear end and four wheel power disc brakes. Used to have uh, four wheel manual drum. So sitting on our new rims and tires, and the angle's nice, 295s out back, 235s up front, or 245s, I think 245s. Got our uh, um, disc brake uh, power booster, well it's a 70 Chevelle power booster, it doesn't care if it's disc or drum, uh, but then we got a 70 Chevy Corvette four wheel disc brake master cylinder that bolts right up to it, that gives us the right line pressure. Uh, we've got a proportioning valve coming. The proportioning valve lives way down there where you can't see where all the brake lines meet up. Uh, this is our 414 roller big block with a mo monster cam in it. And uh, so, yeah, pretty slick. I'm gonna, I, so, Phil, I ordered you a smaller air cleaner because that big one keeps hitting the top of the hood. And um, it's just not... That's not the setup that should be on the car is, is what, we, what we're running. So I got you, like, for now, a smaller 10-inch one, but eventually we'll make the cowl induction work um, and, and get that, get what we need for that. Um, but this will just eliminate the hood clearance problem. So anyway, if we go ahead and the brake lights were on because I had a, a little um, snow scraper wedged in there. To test them out so the the pedal sits in just the right position we had to go ahead and reconfigure uh the, the pedal underneath the dashboard for the power you know now that we're running power brakes um the manual setup was different but we got the pedal in the right position the power boosters installed um everything's the way it should be master cylinders installed the lines are hooked up here the lines are hooked up in the back as you saw in the previous video and uh, I went to start go ahead and do the uh, front disc brake conversion today and I started taking them apart and realized I needed caliper brackets um, so I ordered them from OPGI and they're on the way so right now I got the caliper brackets coming I got um, what else? There's a plug that I need to order for the carburetor that allows us to go ahead and put a vacuum port for a uh, for the power disc brake vacuum, which we need. So I had to order that Holly part today, and then I had to order a U joint because the knuckleheads at the drive shaft shop, um, it, whatever, it was just a bad experience. I asked them to do the drive shaft for me. Not that I couldn't have done it. I had other things to do. I thought it would be more efficient to uh, have them do it, and. Um, they didn't replace the U-joints they were supposed to. The one that they did replace, they didn't put the correct one on. Nothing fit. And I had to just go ahead and I spent yesterday figuring it out. And um, Anyway, I ordered the right stuff and I'll just put it in there myself. So I don't really care to complain about it. As Hillary Clinton would say, what at this point does it matter? Um, yeah, but the brake pedals were, I mean... You're not going to notice any difference. It was just the configuration of the stuff up inside there, the brake light switch, and the pedal position, whether you had power or disc, and I had to switch everything over to the, um, I mean, whether you had manual or power brakes, and I had to switch everything over to the power brake setup. So it's done. It's all dialed in. It's perfect. And then I just went and put another five gallons of 93 octane in it. Um, and uh, so every now and then I check the carburetor, and I just want to check the carburetor because the weather's changed. Well, it's warmed up, and then today it's not quite as warm. As it has been the last few days but uh last time i fired it up it was idling a little bit high and i didn't like it so i'm gonna check this out right now and just see see what it does Might be a little high for me i'm going to turn it down i don't want it to warm up too much or the choke's going to start moving and that makes it 
hard to adjust the cold start. Um, but damn, it sounds good. So it's just like usual. Put that smaller air cleaner on there for you. I'm going to make a couple of carb adjustments. Like I said, I got to put that vacuum uh, port underneath the carburetor. So I got to take it off and install the vacuum port. So there's still more stuff to be done, but that's going to get us a vacuum uh, line that comes around to the uh, brake power booster right there. So, and then with the smaller air cleaner, we'll have better hood clearance because right now it's rubbing because for a variety of reasons, but the quick solution is put a little bit smaller air cleaner on there and be done with it. So I'm going to dial this in a little bit more. We're waiting for some parts. I thought I'd make you a video so you could uh, smell the gas and check things out. See how it sits with the new rims. That's a really nice profile there. It's going to be just about the same once the disc brakes are on the front, once I get those brackets. So everything's coming together. Good guys on motor performance. We'll see you at your next service.